I'm a little late on this one, but Eminence and Shadow Season 2 trailer is out. I hear there's a release date too. Let's begin the reaction. A giant slump. Wasn't there like vampires involved in the last trailer? Okay. Lawless City. Oriana. Oriana's in the Monte poster there. I can't wait for him to do some more ridiculous entrances, man. Ugh. Give me another animatonic, please. It's too early in the trailer. Three skyscrapers. Okay, so these are like the top three dudes in this place? We got this guy. Oh. Oh, look at that design. Oh, the fan. You see that tongue? Is this the vampire? Or is it a... I thought it was a girl. Elizabeth. That's not Iris. I thought that was Iris in the last trailer. Clear! So Claire is... Okay, Claire has had no fucking plot relevance in the first season. Like, what's going on? It looks like she's actually coming to play here. Working with that other red hair girl. Potato. Fucking skeleton potato. When's the release date? Come on. October 2020. Yo! That's so soon! All right, quick little recap. We're going to a lawless city. There's some kind of tower. There's a vampire involved. The three sky skyscrapers. This dude, you know, is just gonna be trash. Like, this dude is a typical character in season one that's just gonna get fucking bodied. And, and then they're gonna hype him up. Oh, he's some kind of strong guy. Immediately done. And that's the lovely formula of Eminence and Shadow. Now, this girl, though, I have some eye hopes for her just because of her design. And wait, wait for it. Oh, oh, got it. Frame <laughs> the tongue movement, dude. Mr. Shadow. So she knows of him. Okay. And then there's this dude who, I don't know. I thought he might be the vampire, but it sounds like he's trying to like revive some. I, I guess this is like the artifact. And then this girl might be someone that he's trying to revive. Ultimate vampire. This is a different girl. I thought this was Iris in season one, but nah, nah. She's a vampire hunter okay and then claire is somehow working with this girl too and that's such a good thing because claire kagano had fucking nothing in season one she's just chilling around she's like a yande she gets mad when she's not watching her matches that was it and i was kind of disappointed because they kind of hyped her up to be some kind of strong girl in the beginning and then nothing but season two looks like we're, we're gonna get her now the release date is october we have one more season of seasonal animes to get through and then eminence and peak is coming back if you guys are gonna stick around check out the eminence and shadow playlist if you haven't there's some a lot of good content here and until then take care guys